Well, here we are. About a month ago, we did this episode where we talked about how Logan Paul was going to be fighting Floyd Mayweather for some reason. And we weren't super sure why it was happening. And then about a week after that, I put up this video where I talked about Logan Paul's brother, Jake, calling out Conor McGregor. And that was the famous drive-by water ballooning of Dylan Dennis. <laughs> Obviously, it's just me today on this video. Mike's not here, but let's have a quick reminder of how Mike feels. These Paul brothers are just fucking clowns. Like his Logan Paul's bad, but not nearly as bad as his brother. His brother is a complete fucking douchebag. So Jake Paul is going to fight on the same card that his brother is fighting Floyd, and he's going to fight Ben Askren. Now, if you clicked on this video because it's about Jake Paul and you have no idea who Ben Askren is, well, you actually do, and I can almost guarantee that you've seen him before. He's this guy. Ben Askren is probably one of the best wrestlers to ever compete in MMA, and he's... How can I put this in a way that Ben might still come on this show? He's not known for having the world's best striking. And this video is not going to be a super in-depth breakdown of Ben's boxing ability. I'll just let this clip speak for itself. And this one. And this one. And this one too. Jake Paul knocked out Nate Robinson a few months ago, which, cool. He beat a guy who never had a fight before, and it showed. Jake Paul obviously has the ability to land shots when his opponent's hands come away from their face. When there isn't any defense happening, he does have the ability to land, and he seems to have at least some power. Power enough to put down a guy who's never boxed before. Ben Askren did take some heavy shots from Robbie Lawler, an actual talented striker, and he ate those and kept going and eventually won that fight, albeit controversially. And he took those shots from Robbie Lawler in four ounce MMA gloves, not super padded 12 or 14 ounce gloves that I'm sure they'll use for this fight. And as for this one, Well, if that knee lands on anyone in the world, it's going to be the same result. I don't think we can really knock Ben's chin too much for that. So why is this happening? Well, money, obviously. This isn't a stupid move by Jake Paul. If he wants to be able to keep running his mouth and have the ability to say that he beat a UFC fighter, Ben Askren is kind of the perfect matchup for that. I mean, assuming that CM Punk was not available at this time. I'm sure Ben is getting a nice payday for this, which, good for you, dude. I know most people, myself included, don't have a lot of hope he wins this match. I don't exactly see him knocking out Jake Paul if he keeps doing this, where he runs right at his opponent with his face wide open to be hit. I think Jake might do this if Ben keeps using that same strategy. It does sort of feel like the whole of the MMA world is on Ben Askren's back right now because to the outside person looking in who has no idea who Ben Askren is, it's not a good look if Jake Paul starches him and can say, oh, this YouTuber beat up a UFC fighter because that's all anyone would know if they're not actually fans of the sport. I think we have to all sort of hope that Ben can pull this one out for us. Any last thoughts from Mike? These Paul brothers are just fucking clowns. Like his Logan Paul's bad, but not nearly as bad as his brother. His brother is a complete fucking douchebag. How do you guys think this will go? Let me know down in the comments. And while you're down there, why not give this video a big thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.